guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Hi beautiful people, Sherry here, how's it going? So this is going to be a mid-month energy reading. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to be using my two smaller decks. So I'm going to pull the feminine side first, we'll do an elemental reading. So this is emotional, uh, mental, physical, and spiritual and for the masculine side so these cards are my bigger deck that I had and I just cut them like I trimmed off the, uh, the words a little bit easier to manage and shuffle this way so the more similar to my original deck all right, let's pull the mask on the side. So this is, uh, what is this? Um, oh my gosh, Me uh, emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual. Oh yes, um, the soul. The soul over here, and then we'll pull one card from... Um, what is this? Romance Angels, Dorian Virtue. I put music on, but you guys probably can't hear it, so let me just turn it up a little bit. All right, so let's begin. So the overall energy, calling in your soulmate. Beautiful. So your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. Let me just actually turn it down a smidge. So let me just read that for you. Calling. All right, so your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. You, like everyone, have soulmates. These are people with whom you share time in heaven and in other lives. You made a soul agreement to meet in this lifetime for the purpose of mutual spiritual growth. You have many such agreements with various people who are your soulmates. They include friends, families, uh, family members, co-workers, and romantic partners. This card guides you to actively call your, your romantic soulmate into your life. You can do so through prayer, affirmation, visualization. It also means working on yourself so that you epitomize, I don't know, the qualities you're seeking in a partner. For instance, if you desire a significant other who's got a great sense of humor, uh, develop this within yourself. Like attracts like which is part of calling in your soulmate. So what I'm feeling with that is, um, you know, it's time to actively send out vibrations that are positive. And, um, you know, I don't feel it's actually, you know, calling your soulmate or text messaging or anything like that. This is just a vibration of love. If you send out a vibration of love, that will be returned to you. Okay, so let's look at the feminine side first. So what's in her soul? Wow, Ten of Cups. Beautiful. So peace, harmony, feeling like everyone's getting along at work, at home. You know, your heart is filled with love and you're surrounded by love. Ten is a completion. So this is happily ever after. For the masculine side, we have 
the Knight of Wands. So this is movement, very directed, very powerful, very um, inspiring and creative energy. So, you know, this could also have to do with sexual passion. Um, but what I see here is the masculine seeing what he desires. Peace, harmony, love, and movement towards that. So the feminine is doing just that. She's sending those loving vibrations into the universe. The masculine feels that energy, possibly inspired by the feminine, um, but he's lit up, pursuing things that, you know, um, bring his soul, um, you know, alive. <laughs> Okay, so emotional space. For the feminine, we have the eight of fire. Um, so, you know, it could be literally the feminine wants to communicate. Uh, so this is Cupid's arrows, very positive vibration sent out to the, into the universe. So again, she's in that vibration. She's picking up on the masculine's energy and sending that energy out, right? So this is in the emotional space. Um, it's also accelerated energy. So things, she feels emotionally that things are starting to pick up speed. Um, she doesn't fear sending those vibrations out, um, you know, cause she doesn't expect anything in return. She's already, you know, feels fulfilled in her soul. Emotionally for the masculine, the three of pentacles. So he feels stable, grounded in, in the 3D, but in this connection emotionally. Um, he knows that he needs to continue to work on his emotional growth. Um, but there's no fear there. There's groundedness. The mental space for the feminine, ten of swords. Wow. Um, so two tens. The ten of swords is the ending of a, the dark night of the soul. So she has cut away fears, cut away darkness, uh, feelings of betrayal, deception. Right. So this is the mental space, and this is actually a mental card. Air, ten of swords, the ending of the dark night. And negative thoughts mentally for the masculine nice we have judgment uh, so this is the grand awakening uh, realizing that your life is an illusion you get to create the reality that you desire he's hearing the calling cool synchronicity so mentally um, he is aware of the reality that he's living in he's conscious uh, that he is a co-creator. So physical space for the feminine, the two of swords. So the feminine in the physical, she feels possibly stuck. Uh, maybe she needs to, um, I don't see her making any decisions because in the mental space we have the Ten of Swords. Here, this is another mental card. The Two of Swords is mental conflict. Uh, she's conflicted. So, 3D reality, um, there's a choice to be made whether or not it's hers or not. You know what? Let's pull an additional card for that. So, oops. So, I got my tiny deck here. What do you mean by the two of swords in the physical space. Oh, that one, okay. Oh, jeez. You hurt me. So physically, the feminine is still closed off. She's holding on to thoughts that are keeping her stuck. Yeah, yeah so... She's still holding on to something. So definite blockage in the physical space. The masculine, wow, yang. 
So this is a very powerful card. The masculine in the physical is um, feeling powerful, <clears throat> authentic. Um, he gets his power from authenticity. And this is somebody who is a provider, very, um, you know, in terms of power, he is a leader. He, he is there to offer guidance and support. Um, yeah, so this is, you know, the most powerful card that you can have in a physical space because it is also, no, actually, that's a fire. Sorry. I was going to say that's also a um, earth card, but it's not. Okay, so for the feminine spiritual space, we have four of swords. So she is resting. She is retreating from any negative thoughts, you know, conflict. Um, she feels that her heart is broken and, and healing from that. So spiritually, she has gone into herself to seek some deep uh, answers to questions. Why do I feel this way? Why am I cut off? Why do I continue to get hurt? I give unconditional love. Why isn't it returned? Um, right, so again, mental stuff. Those, these are things that need to be clear because if you're not clear, you're not going to hear that calling. But I do feel that you are sending vibrations out that are positive. You're just blocking um, the call to, you know, um, you can't hear that call being sent out to you from the masculine. So in the, the uh, spiritual, we have the justice card for the masculine. So spiritually, the masculine um, is very aware of karmic energy, the law of attraction. What you send out, you get back. And You know, I, it's coming from a very truthful, honest, aware space. So I believe that he, you know, whatever's happening in his life, it's going to work out, right? Um, justice will be served. All right, so let's pull two additional cards. I think I'll just use Romance Angels, one each. Oops, Jesus, cards are slippery today. One each. Please, Spirit, what final messages do you have? Codependency and it is safe for you to love. Not surprised. That's exactly what I see over here. The feminine is okay with sending positive vibrations out but will you know she is questioning whether or not to let that love in right there's still definitely a wall there okay so feminines Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This card indicates that you're protecting your heart from hurt. Because of painful relationship experiences, you hurt me. However, the angels can only bring as much romance as you'll allow inside. If you have a shield around your heart, how is love to get in? A closed heart repels the sensitive partner you're trying to attract. Follow your inner guidance. So following your inner guidance will protect you and simultaneously allow you to feel loved and loving. Trust your intuitive senses with respect to others and open your heart to those who are kind and gentle. Ask the angels to bring you caring individuals, including a romantic partner, into your life, and they'll do so, provided that you listen to and follow their guidance. And that's exactly what I saw. 
Okay, so the masculine, you got codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This card answers your question in, in perhaps a surprising way because addictions are the culprit behind the issues you're attempting to resolve. This could be your own craving for a substance or unhealthy behavior, or it could be that your partner's addictions are impacting your life. The card is also an indicator of childhood experiences in an addictive family. Addictions numb the heart to pain, but they also diminish its capacity to love. Since love is the base of, basis of your romantic partnership, addictions become a barrier to intimacy. This is especially true if you are twisting yourself in knots to please a person whose dependency has lessened his or her capacity for happiness. The no-win situation will negatively affect your self-esteem and your own happiness if you continue. Fortunately, lots of support is available, and I'm not going to get into it, but you know, this is just talking about you reaching out for help, allowing people to help you. <laughs> All right. So what I'm feeling with this is, you know, maybe the masculine is cutting himself away from codependent relationships. He's moving away from that, pursuing things that, um, you know, are authentic to himself that make him feel powerful. Um, you know, help him to grow Help him to love himself. All right. I do hope this helped. I'm sending massive love your way. Cheers.